Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is packed full of Valentine's Day inspiration. Valentine's Day is right around the corner so it's time to start DIYing and crafting right now and it's fun because that kind of extends the holiday and I love decorating with Valentine colors. It's so fun to bring in like the girly pinks and stuff that I don't always get away with the rest of the year in my home decor so it's super fun. But I bring in you a ton of projects that are not only super fast and cute to put together but also budget friendly using Dollar Tree items, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, make sure you are subscribed. I have a ton of brand new content coming your way and you don't want to miss that, but let's go ahead and get on into crafting. First up, I had one of these small signs that I used in my last video, so you can check that out if you haven't watched that yet, but I stole the love word off of it for a different project and left with this really fun little sign that had a lot of potential but I couldn't get all of the glue off of there. So I did take my um, just white cardstock scrapbooking paper to cover that up and give this a nice clean background and then I'll be able to decorate this. Since I just took a word out of it, I didn't just want to make this plain with another word, so I thought it'd be fun to make a lock and a key. I had to go back several years and find this photo of a DIY lock and key that I made here on my channel, and I stuck it on these large hearts to hang on the wall, and I loved it, and I've never made them since, so I was dying to go back and retry this for Valentine's Day. But to make these, I actually took the letter F, or you could use an E, out of the wooden Dollar Tree letters and kind of cut it down a little bit to make it look or work work for a skeleton key. I'm using a piece of a dowel rod so I'm just gluing that letter to the back of it at the bottom upside down and then a little wooden heart at the top and I think this key is adorable for Valentine's Day but then I wanted a lock to go with it. So what I did was take a small piece of my rope and glue that for the lock at the top and then I didn't have any silver spray paint so I was going the hard way and using this silver metallic paint marker just to get that shiny little look underneath. Now I definitely like I say always spray paint this. I could have used just chalk paint or anything else for the gray um, but I just decided to go ahead and use this. I never use this pen anyways and sometimes whenever you do get them started the paint really flows out of there so I was able to take a paintbrush and kind of smooth that around but I love the the shimmer shine that it is giving it so whenever I do take some more darker gray paint and go around the edges it still looks like it is kind of like a rustic metal look. I used a black paint marker to paint the little keyhole. Like I said, sometimes you just have to get these paint markers started, especially if I like if you're like me and you don't use them very often. I always kind of have to just tap them to the side and then drew out the little keyhole. It was just a circle at the top with a little rectangle attached to it. And then I wanted these to look like they were dangling. So taking a piece of twine, I tied a knot at the top and then letting them dangle from each little twine string. But I think these look so adorable. I'm um, just glued to this mini little sign would be perfect for a tiered tray or a small area. I added a little jute twine bow at the top and then my favorite are these rub on transfers. I'm sure you've noticed if you've watched any of my videos but I've been adding these to everything. I found this little forever word so I just put it on the bottom. It was missing a little piece I cut off so I did go back and get the bottom of the R but I think this looks adorable and I love how they're not spread out on different hearts but actually put together this time. I recently got some of these hearts um, from the Dollar Tree and they are a good size and I love them. I love those three colors but the green one was just kind of not my style, kind of sticking out to me. So I thought I could make this over really quick and they actually have paper on the front. So I took a wet washcloth and I'm just trying to soak the paper on the front and you can easily wipe it away. So I used a combination of wiping it with a wet cloth as well as taking a little scraper and peeling some of the paper off, but it 100% came off so I was so happy about that. The edges did not have paper on them, they were just painted green, so I am painting over them with some white paint and then continuing to cover the entire front. Yeah, 
So a really simple Dollar Tree DIY hack if you are decorating or wanting to make over anything is to use window clings. They already have like the most cute little images and things written out for you. So I picked out this little heart that says crazy for you and then went around the edges with a sharpie to create this little stitched look. I thought these wooden barns were adorable. They have a little wood roof at the top. So they have a couple of designs for Valentine's Day. This one is for Valentine's Day too. It has a big red heart on there. And I just thought I would make this over into more of like a farmhouse style in case you are wanting something like neutral but didn't like the red heart. So same thing that I've been enjoying doing this so much is peeling that paper off once again. And it does take a little bit of elbow grease but you can easily get it off there and you can let it soak for a few minutes. I wouldn't recommend getting this MDF type material too wet but I ended up um, just able to soak the paper and peel that away and then covering this with some more white paper. Here I am reattaching the wood piece to the very top and then I picked up a little pack of wooden hearts from Dollar Tree. This was like filled with red glitter so I flipped that over and just left the natural heart towards the top but I think this turns out adorable. I picked up this last home sign from Dollar Tree and it just looked cheap to me. The paper was kind of hanging off the edges so I sanded that away. I do go over this with a little bit of white paint to lighten it up but I think this would be a really cool gift idea. Something that you could easily customize. Write your name on this magnet piece. I ended up sanding it down using my wet washcloth to get the excess paper off and then painting this white. And then like I mentioned, lighting this up, I felt like it would just look really pretty if it had like this whitewash look. And I really liked it, but I missed the lines. Um, so this just looked like a solid piece instead of the little boards. So I have a really fun hack to do this. Even if you're painting something for yourself, um, you can easily just put a ruler down or something with a straight edge, fold over your, your sandpaper and get those lines back. And then I glued down one of these 3D laser cut pieces from Dollar Tree. I like this word love. Once again, I love how neutral this is. It would make a great gift idea, but you could customize this, put a photo in there. I just stuck some little pink cardstock. I'll stick a photo in there as soon as I get some more printed, but thought this was really cute. Next up, I wanted to create a sign on a stand, so I love picking up Dollar Tree's plungers, and no one is ever going to know. They just work the same as dowel rods. All I did was cut off the threads, cut this down to size using a miter box and saw. I always pick this up from Walmart. I get a lot of questions about it, but it's just super handy, and you can actually secure it to a table if you're not filming like me and pulling things into the camera, then um, it's a lot easier to use and more sturdy, but I go ahead and pre-drill a hole in the dowel rod or toilet plunger handle and one of these wooden pieces from Dollar Tree and actually end up screwing them together with my drill. I use some super long deck screws so that's all I had on hand but you can use any type of screw that you'd like. I actually made a, t a sign kind of like this for spring last year and I loved it. That's what inspired me to go ahead and create a different one for Valentine's Day um, and picking up any type of little photo frame or picture like this from Dollar Tree, I easily can cover this with scrapbooking paper and add in a wooden heart. I decided not to paint my heart and just make it really cute and natural, like with the natural wood. Um, I did use a combination of hot glue. It wouldn't dry fast enough to hold it, so I did put a little bit of duct tape, white duct tape around the back, and then added in a few extra touches of some ribbon, and love how this turned out. 
Dollar Tree has put out these little floral vases with a lock and key charm on the front. So I thought these were adorable. I went ahead and pulled them off. You could easily attach the key and the lock to the same vase. I ended up just attaching the key and going to save the little lock and key for another project. But I took one of these white vases and covered it with some like ballet pink uh, chalk paint. And then I think it's called ballet slipper or something similar. And painted this but just any little container like this would have worked but wrapping around the little metal key I feel like makes this look so cute like as mentioned before I love little locks and keys it just looks so cute and like a romantic little thing making it pink and uh, just attached this with some jute twine and then tied a little bow in the front I grabbed several of these little metal envelopes when I found them at the Dollar Tree and I've seen some people get them in galvanized too which is also a great color that you could use for everyday use but for this pink one I wanted to dress it up just a little bit more my style so I got rid of the red glittery heart at the top I sanded down as much glitter as I could and painted the top white added a little bow and then some gold letters and I thought this would be something so cute for a craft room or bulletin board I ended up putting it on my bulletin board and you could hold like little pieces of chalk or notes or um, anything that you would like little cut out pieces I also had a cool idea that you could attach some magnets to the back and put this on the fridge once again could hold um, your little business cards or something like that we always have like emergency numbers on the fridge or like like cards from the teachers or people we need to call so I think that would be a great place to store them Now, I made this project um, a while back, and I thought it was adorable, too cute not to share again. Dollar Tree put out these same wooden hearts this year, so I was going to share this idea with you all. I took two mini little fl floral pots or flower pots. You can find these about at any store, very inexpensive, and I painted the little wooden hearts pink, took some scrapbooking paper to cover the front, and then I'm going to be attaching these to those dowel rods. A really cool hack is to lay your paper over the shape that you need to cut out and then using a popsicle stick, especially items like this where the front of it gets a lot smaller than the back so you can't really like flip this over and trace it. So it's a great way to see how big that you need to cut out your shapes and get them as perfect as possible. I did attach them with some Mod Podge and then do a couple of layers of Mod Podge over the top to just make them look all sealed in and protect the paper. I had some mini little pom-pom ribbon. I glued that around around the edges and then I needed something to cover over the styrofoam so I'm using a burlap bag once again they had these out at Dollar Tree right now I just picked up some more and I was able to cover up all of that lime green like shiny styrofoam so these look a lot better and then put some rocks down on the bottom and this will not only give them a, dec a decorative look but like weigh them down so they're not going to tip over really easy and just mixed in some large pink rocks with some smaller little white ones from Dollar Tree. I also saw that they were putting out these same exact cameras this year. So to make this over, I took the center out of there. So it's kind of like a little picture frame, but I wanted to replace that with a piece of scrapbooking paper. So using this same little book of papers. I love picking these up at Hobby Lobby because I just am able to reuse it several times throughout the year and it just always has like the right amount of paper for small projects and you don't have to just keep like huge 12 by 12 in every color and design. But for this camera I ended up painting it a lighter pink. I love this pink color. I actually just read an article about how um, like blush pink is a millennial color so let me know if that's true or not um, if you think that but it's something that I've always like graduated 
towards but I've always been more of like a girly girl so if I buy like anything like makeup related um like makeup brushes or containers I always tend to go to this color so it's definitely one of my favorites but I think it is perfect to use the subtle pink color in Valentine's Day no matter how old you are because it just is really really pretty and it's not overwhelming so after you get all of that Christmas red decor put away you can bring in just subtle touches of pink I added a sticker and a little window cling in the middle but just think this is too cute not to display but you could also use this all year these projects turned out so adorable like I say I love all the pinks and girly decor what I don't want to say for next year I can give to my daughters and they can decorate their room but since it's like pink and girly looking that it can last all year so they love it don't forget to hit the thumbs up button make sure you are subscribed let me know which project was your favorite what content you want to see in 2022 coming up this year and I'll see you in the next video happy crafting <laughs> bye